Let's face it, it's not sexy, it's not glamorous, but certain cleaning franchises can generate over $1 million a year. We're going to take a look at why I love cleaning franchises today on Franchise City. So you can buy a Burger King restaurant. It's going to cost you about $2 million to open up that store. And your average earning expectations is about $1.4 million a year. You can buy a Taco Bell, $1.6 million investment. Their AUVs are about $1.6 million a year as of the making of this video. Or instead of spending these millions of dollars, you can buy a certain cleaning franchise, invest one-tenth or less of a Burger King, and make almost as much money. $1.2 million a year are the average unit volumes in that system. Many locations they have are even higher than that. So you've got no huge build-out costs, no hundreds of staff, no huge rents, very low overhead. You've got no food or inventory to worry about, less risk, le less legal exposure, and a whole lot of benefits. Now, if you have executive white collar or business to business B2B sales background, you could also invest in a cleaning master franchise for somewhere around the low 200,000 mark and generate even more than a Burger King at $2.4 million a year average. Top producers in that system are doing over $5 million a year. I'm going to speak about master cleaning franchises in greater detail in a minute. But why buy a franchise in the first place, especially cleaning? A lot of people ask that question where you're not buying a franchise to learn how to clean. It's not how it works. You're buying a franchise to show you how to scale a business, how to build a million dollar company. Now the franchise, they're going to help you with insurance, with marketing, with client acquisition, with pricing correctly for your market, with customer retention. All of that training is what is really important. Absolutely, anybody can swing a mop, but not everybody can build a million dollar business. Hence, franchising. Now, not that all cleaning franchises are going to get you to a million dollars, but some certainly can. So what considerations do you need to look at when you're exploring cleaning franchises? Now, your first is going to be your budget. Okay, so if you've got $10,000 or less, realistically, your only option is to buy the cleaning contracts. Now, they call it a franchise when you when you purchase it, but it's not really. You're the one doing the cleaning. Your master franchisee actually owns the contracts and you are just essentially cleaning for them. Now, remember this, whoever owns the contracts controls the business. Now, this type of franchise can be good for somebody who's just looking to make some extra money, but it's not really scalable because your margins don't allow it. You can't you know, get 10 trucks underneath you, hire a ton of people. Generally, your margins aren't going to allow it. Now, this option, it's not going to make you a millionaire, but many people are making some extra money and they're doing it part-time. Some are doing it full-time. It's a good way to get started in the cleaning business. Now, the step beyond that is to actually buy a complete cleaning franchise and your own territory. There's absolutely million dollar a year cleaning franchises in this space. Now you should have at least 20 to $30,000 available and good credit as they're going to help you to finance the rest. Your total investment, low end of about $50,000 upwards of around $200,000. Now you're gonna to need to decide on residential cleaning or commercial cleaning. Residential cleaning cash flows a lot quicker. You usually get paid before or right after your cleaning. Commercial cleaning, you're typically billing 30 to 60 days out. So you're going to need to consider that when you're forecasting your available working capital, right? You need to pay your cleaners right away. Your insurance, all those expenses are up front, but you're not going to get paid for up to 60 days. Now also consider, are you good at sales or business to business relationship building because commercial cleaning typically that relies on B2B sales while residential lead generation that's usually done online right homeowners they're always out there they're googling for cleaners looking for house cleaners while B2B you need to get out there and kind of pound the pavement now some franchises this is also very important have very sophisticated marketing and client acquisition programs. They handle all of the lead generation for you. They handle the inbound calls and you use their team 
of appointment setters. They've got people at head office, they know how to handle these calls and they take your calls all day long. That allows you to focus on really building the business. Now, not all franchises have this, so you need to know your skills to determine which cleaning franchise is gonna be best suited to your abilities and business goals. Typically, the ones that have the most sophisticated marketing and lead generation, they're gonna be at the higher end of the investment range between around $100,000 to $200,000. That includes your working capital. But these are also the ones generally that are gonna make the most amount of money. Again, you can typically get started with about 20 to 30% down and finance the rest OAC. Now there's also specialty types of cleaning franchises and a very lucrative sub-segment, it's very little known industry is crime scene cleanup. And you can make upwards of 2,000 bucks an hour with certain types of cleanup in this industry. And this is a good option for ex-first responders or military. Your investment for that type of business is gonna be around $100,000 in total, again, including your working capital when you first start your business. Now, vent and duct cleaning can also be very lucrative, as can window cleaning. But there are some bad players in some of these industries, so buyer beware. And finally, let's look at the master cleaning franchise. Some people say that master franchising is the best kept secret in franchising. You really do well if you have the right skill set for it. So how does it work? First, you open up an office. You then secure the cleaning contracts, and you then sell these contracts as a franchise opportunity to people who want to run a business. And you can sell these individual franchises anywhere from $1,000 to $10,000 or more, depending on how many contracts you have in that account. So you can see this is a cash business and selling a couple of these franchises a day, you are making good money. You can see how some people are getting up to the $5 million mark. Now you're not even cleaning at this point. You're farming all of that work out. So this is a white collar role in a blue collar space. So your investment, including your working capital, again, about the 200,000 plus range. Uh, and when you see those ads locally that are looking for people to clean, uh, business opportunities, it's usually a local master franchise who's looking in that area. Now, as a cleaner, if you get a good master franchisor, you can make some money, you can do okay. But unfortunately, again, there's quite a few unethical operators in that space. So they take away your contracts, they churn contracts. So you have to be careful if you're one of the individual cleaners researching or buying these contracts. Now, if you have the money, it can really make sense for you to control your own contracts, control your own destiny, buy a full franchise, which is then scalable into multiple trucks in multiple territories, and eventually even into passive ownership. You've got five trucks out on the road, you don't necessarily have to do anything at that point. You can install a director to run your whole business. So why don't more people just buy cleaning franchises? Why are people still spending millions on these huge food franchises? Well, number one, they don't know, right? They didn't call Franchise City. So they have no way of comparing the thousands of franchises that are out there. We can help you do that. Now on your own, think about it. There's 4,000 franchises. How long to call every single one to try and find out how much money they make? And you know how hard it is to get that information from them in the first place. Now most inexperienced buyers, when they go out there, they engage with a single franchise and they think, well, they've got thousands of locations, so it must be a good investment if other people invested. And off they go, they just invest based on that. And meanwhile, in many cases, in the office building across the street from their restaurant is somebody who probably called Franchise City is making the same amount of money or even more as they are with a fraction of the investment and the risk. There's a lot of options out there. Just explore them all before you make a decision. Now, I should mention there is absolutely nothing wrong with owning a restaurant or food franchise once you understand all your options. There's some great food franchise opportunities out there. Several of us on the team here at Franchise City were food franchise owners and even a couple of food franchise founders on the team. But you need to understand your individual business goals, your exit strategy, your local market demand, your lifestyle and operational preferences. All of these are unique to your situation and the best franchise for one person can be the worst for another. Just give us a call. Your Franchise City broker is going to help you determine your best options. So to wrap up, under 10,000 bucks, you're probably going to be buying cleaning 
contracts. Now, unfortunately, we can't help you with that. We don't work with the selling of individual contracts. Now, your own territory cleaning franchise, residential or commercial, between about fifty to two hundred thousand dollars finance with about thirty percent down, and there are some million dollar options at the higher end of that scale. Specialty cleaning, your crime scene, your windows, your ducts, and others, investment between about $100,000 to $200,000. There's some good money makers in there as well. And finally, a cleaning master franchise, low $200,000 investment, $2.4 million average with top producers over $5 million a year. And I'm gonna place a link down below if you'd like to get information on any of these brands or any other franchises at all. We can help you compare hundreds of franchises and help you to find the best one. And of course, avoid the bad ones. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.